The religion of peace strikes again. As we all know, Islam is the most reasonable religion. It is so reasonable that it never needs to explain itself. No, it strikes with fists and knives instead. Today, Hatun Tash, who is a regular speaker at Speaker's Corner, was again attacked by a representative of Islam. What happened is that Hatun Tash, who is often at Speaker's Corner and who counters Islam, was having an online live discussion with this person called Yahya, and they agreed to talk on several topics. I want to have a three different conversation with you, okay? Are you okay with that, Yahya? I'm okay with everything. Okay. As this discussion went on, there were Muslim viewers who kept heckling when Hatuntash spoke and insulting her. She, of course, deals with that all the time. Why are you wasting your time with this filthy woman? Okay. Why do you call me filthy? I am not Muhammad. But she had her response ready. A Quran with holes in it, because of the holes in the standard narrative of the Quran, and a cartoon of Muhammad. That's Muhammad. Uh, Continue, Yahya. Yeah. Calling me names okay. is not helping you. The heckling didn't stop, and she continued her mockery as a result. Do I look like Muhammad? No. Why are you, why are you so upset? And around 11 minutes and 45 seconds of the live stream, which I have linked below, a Muslim then jumped in and punched her in the face. Dad looks like that, I don't know, be honest. If my, if my father is like Muhammad, have respect to the like dog. Hey! 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 Respect to the dog. What a disgusting way to solve your problems. What a barbaric approach. What an underdeveloped, unsophisticated, pathetic attempt to make your point. People hold up Qurans with holes in them and cartoons because of how offensive and how fragile Islam is. Hatun Tash is using a cartoon and a holy Quran not because she is so disrespectful, but because it is Islam itself which in its fundamental scriptures constantly offends, insults, ridicules, threatens and declares war on disbelievers including, explicitly mentioned by their names, Christians, Jews, apostates, polytheists, and many others. It is this religion which orders its believers to fight us, to subdue and humiliate us, to execute us, to convert us, which orders to establish an Islamic state and to humiliate and subdue other religions, to forbid some and to execute those who leave and those who blaspheme, which is why many of its adherents resort to violence when we respond to that with criticism or with mockery. So Hatun Tash has every right, and even if these conditions didn't exist, would have every right to use that kind of mockery. Especially in a Western country like the UK, she definitely has the right to do that. I cannot speak for all those garbage countries in which that stuff is forbidden, because they are Islamo-fascist countries. This is for Hatun Tash. Our beliefs are different, our methods are different, but I have so much respect for you. Thank you for standing there and for being strong. I would ask everybody to show solidarity, to visit their live stream, which is below in the description and in the pinned comment, and to show your support. If a woman who is a critic of Islam is physically assaulted, they will make excuses. If a Muslim woman was assaulted in her place for religious motivations, for political purposes, all hell would break loose. But then again, a Muslim woman would never be there because a Muslim woman wouldn't be allowed by the men to be there and to express her opinions and to contribute to the interreligious discourse. The men would not allow her to be there and to represent Islam. They would rather have their women be quiet and stay at home, take care of the matters at home, be lesser beings who listen to their husbands and who are occasionally disciplined with toothbrushes. I wonder why this criminal who punched Hatun Tash didn't do it with a toothbrush. Isn't that how you're supposed to do it? <laughs> as long as this is going on, as long as criticizing or ridiculing Islam, which declares war on everyone, is met with violence in response, we need to show strength. So I would ask everybody to show your solidarity and start something nice. Do you see how behind me I, I quickly place these two uh, cartoons. One of them is a popular Charlie Hebdo cover for which people were killed. And the other is my humble attempt at making something creative. 
Now I could decorate this wall in a much better way with frames and all that. So I thought maybe it's a good idea for everyone who is watching this video, everyone who wants to participate, to draw their Muhammad cartoon and to submit them to me. Just make sure that they abide by common decency, that they don't have stuff on there that is forbidden or not very tasteful, not appropriate for our audiences on YouTube. And if you want to also put your name on it or an Elias and send that to me and I will put those cartoons on my wall here. I will exchange those cartoons. Maybe I will have a different cartoon every week or every video. I can do this for a while since all this crap is going on right now. I can also show them bigger with names attached at the beginnings of the videos. So if you want to participate, do that. Send it per email to theapostateprophet at gmail.com and I will make sure that I have received them and that I put them into appropriate folders and I prepare them to put them behind me into frames, not like this, and also into my videos. Hatuntash, thank you so much. Stay strong. Everybody, stay strong. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and stay away from Islam.